Hey guys, my name is Bando. This is Brexit Bando. I apologize. Um, I recorded this video and it turns out the audio didn't record my voice at all. So I'm now re recording this while watching the video. So things are going to be out. I'm probably not going to talk correctly. Uh, and I have to relive all of this video. So I've started off with some really bad news today. Uh, unfortunately, my father has been diagnosed with prostate cancer. Um, so I want to start by apologizing that I won't be going to I, I wanted to start doing regular scheduled um, live shows again you know uh, streams but I can't simply commit to that because at the moment I don't know what I'm going to be doing when I'm going to be doing it I need to be available at all time in case something goes wrong in case I'm needed in any way shape or form I just have to do that so I can't commit to you so I really don't want to promise something I know I can't deliver um, so on top of that, I also recorded this video. This is the third time I'm doing this because the first time uh, I recorded this, um, it came out at like 15 frames a second and it was awful. And I know some of you guys really wanted me to upload that and call it, uh, what was it? Uh, stop motion with Bando, I think it was. I'm not doing that. It was terrible. Um, so yes, I have, um, got this to... I, I, this video to try and make. I want to try and get regular videos back up. I can't use what's going on in my life as an excuse. Um, you guys have really put up with me doing a really bad job and the support you give me is well beyond what I deserve. So thank you. Before I do anything else, thank you. Um, you guys are why I keep doing this. Um, I don't do this for my own pleasure, trust me. Uh, as someone with my condition, the idea of public speaking effectively is kind of terrifying. The idea of putting myself out there to be ridiculed. And, you know, because I have my own opinions and I don't kowtow, I, I, I do paint a rather large target on my rather large back. Um, but I do it because I like seeing you guys get, you know, something out of it. And I think some of you do. So, yes, yeah, so what I've got here is the Solar Auxilia Battle Group, which has just been released, obviously, and it's the new hotness, and for the algorithm, I must produce. Um, as you can see down there by the glue, I've already made one of these models, um, and what I wanted to do here was, originally, I recorded this video as um, a little thing I like to call the Bando Test, um, which is just how easy are these basic models in a kit to build without reading the instructions. Um, the answer is you can get about 80% of the way with these models. Um, they're really nice, they're really easy. It's two legs, two parts of a torso, or three parts of a torso, sorry, a head and two arms. Um, the detail on these models is really nice. I never collected the resin version, so I can't really compare them to the resin version. Now, one thing I did notice is there's a couple of seams on the model which makes them look a bit like mold lines, but they're not. So here, I'm showing you, this is the one problem. On the marine kits, the arms for the weapons are next to each other. This kit, they're not. They're all over the place. So once you get to the point of sticking the arms on, you do need to refer to the um, uh, to the kit, to the instructions, to make sure you get the right arms. You can see there I have three attempts, and I got it wrong each time. Once you've built one of the, I think, five of these sprues, you'll get it down to a T really quickly. The sprues are great. There's no wasted space. There's packed with bits. They've got a couple of options for things like the Vexilia. They've got loads of different weapons. They've got loads of pistols. Um, they have, as far as I am aware, every option that the kit can take in the game. Um... The only thing that is missing, in my personal opinion is a decent selection of bare or open masked heads. I'm pointing out there that the bayonets are on there, that I don't like them, they're too fine, they're going to snap. Um, and then this Vox mast, again, I'm just a little concerned here that it might be a bit difficult to remove, but if you've got a sharp knife and you take it slow and you, you do it properly, it won't be a problem. But if you're like me, you like using some heavy-handed work with some clippers, just be a bit more careful. So, you can see, as I'm all over the place, um, 
the detail, the bits, there's lots of it. It's a good kit. I can't fault Games Workshop for this kit. Um, as far as I'm aware, the section comes with 20 of these guys per box, and it's about £50, so it's just like the Space Marines themselves. Um, not a problem. Um, one thing I'm probably going to be a bit miffed about is things like the Power Fist is, you know, we get one Power Fist, so if I want to take a lot of those, they're going to be the same. You've got this nice nifty bare head um, for all the, the leader. Um, but again, they'll fit for the Command Tertio as well, and you get five of those sprues in the set as far as I'm aware. Uh, I don't know what I'm pointing out. I can't remember what I was talking about here. Uh, I think I'm just telling you how many parts and what bits it takes. So again, it's both halves of the legs. The torso is then completely separate, unlike the Marines. And the torso is middle or main part, the front plate, and the little bit on the back. Then obviously you've got the head. So this is the Command Tertio sprue, and this also doubles as the sprue for your Legate Marshal. So no special Legate Marshal character, but just a nice command upgrade sprue um, for everyone. This is something very similar to what I expect to see for the Space Marines, uh, for the command squad. I expect to see something very similar with lots of heads, lots of shoulder pads, lots of arms and weapons and guns and swords and axes and hammers, etc. And there's another open helmet, uh, some nice cool things like the banner, different fronts. This is a good kit. I, again, this is a good sprue. Very much um, interesting to see how much it costs. I'm going on about here now. I remember this. I'm telling people how um, back in 2nd and 3rd edition, the Thunderhammer during the Heresy was supposed to be a prototype weapon. So it was so prototype, it could only be mounted to a Dreadnought, which is why the Chaos Dreadnought had a Thunderhammer. Uh, and then obviously during the years it became smaller and smaller and more refined and then eventually Space Marine Terminators could run around with hammers on their own. Uh, just a little piece of uh, GW40K lore there from the, from the history books. Um, obviously completely defunct now. So next up, um, well, we're still going over this sprue and you can see all the different options. Um, I'm One thing about these I don't like is they're slightly smaller than the Marine version so there's no way of kind of swapping them over which again is kind of silly and irrelevant they're not meant for marines but it would be nice uh, this is the Athian heavy sentinel sprue comes with all the weapons i quite like the melter gun i'm thinking i might try and fit that to a dreadnought because it does look kind of cool um, i intend to go for the uh, volkite but the most important thing here is the legs which quite clear you can see here are a nice multi-part leg which means they're poseable uh, which is something really important for me um, for my models, I love posing my models, especially walkers, robots, and monsters, um, because I like to get some individuality out of my kits. You've got the really cool Hunter Killer missiles, and that's how I intend to arm this thing. Four Hunter Killer missiles and a Volkite. Gives it a nice balance of anti-infantry, but also the ability to knock out something. Um, it's a good kit. I quite like it. It's going to be interesting to see how it goes together. Um, and I intend to include one in the 500 point allied detachment I'm building. Uh, the actual army for it is two squads of infantry, an Arvis lighter, um, a marshal, and the sentinel. Here we have one of the Dracosan sprues. Um, the Dracosan is a multi part kit, and it's got all sorts of extra sprues in it, and it's going to be uh, that and the Malkador. Um, I believe it's the Malkador. Uh, new turret sprue for the new Lehman Russ, if you are used to building a Lehman Russ. It's very similar. It comes with the Vanquisher, the Battle Cannon, and Las Cannons, and Auto Cannons. For the Vanquisher, we all know the Vanquisher is the best option uh, at the moment. However, I'm not a big fan of GW's Vanquisher Cannon. I think it's just a bit too chunky. The muzzle brake's massive. It's almost the same size as the 40k Battle Cannon. I prefer the... Uh, Beyond the Tabletop's Vanquisher Cannon Proxy, which as you can see here on my Militia Lehman Russ, it's a lot finer, it's a lot more realistic, uh, it just looks a lot more like a real tank. Um, so yeah, these are my, this is one of my Militia Russes, um, won't be anything to do with this army, but I just thought I'd get it out to show a comparison. Um, 
I do like me tanks. Tanks is fun. So, uh, if you're interested, the reason that it's uh, an Ultramarine logos and it's got yellow on there, it's because that's the squadron colours. Uh, yellow for one squadron, red for another squadron, blue for another squadron. Uh, it just lets me identify the tanks for where they're supposed to go. Um, they're a militia force that's allied alongside the Ultramarines. There you go. Nice and simple. Um, so, what have we got next? I think the next one is more Lehman Rust sprues, if I can remember correctly. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Come on, Mando. Get it together. Be professional. Why is this camera not in focus? Why is it zoomed in so much? So, we've got another vehicle accessory spree. You get two of these in the set, and it comes with things like the dozer blade, all of the crew-served weapons, um, which is kind of cool. Um... Loads of extra arms for the crew, um, which could probably be used on the infantry. However, they do have the slightly different um, padding. They have the more traditional padding on them. Um, but they also have these really cool like order printing machines, which would be cool for a conversion for some sort of part of your command tertio. And again, another helmet with the visor up, which is really important. Um, as again, you get two of these. Um, the heavy star I'm pointing out here is why I think those super heavies we saw are actually plastic because the heavy stubbers um, that are on them match the new plastic ones. The new style dozer blade is really cool. I really like it. It's again, it's loads of pieces, which is a bit annoying, but it definitely looks like it's going to work for someone like the Iron Warriors. So if you want to get these, I'm sure loads of this sprue will be floating around on the second hand market. Um, but yeah, it would work for any any tanks really that's got a flat bottom you just slide it underneath and you should be able to get it in place so here's the uh, main body parts for the um, Lehman Russ again it's a new kit it's a brand new kit much better than the old Lehman Russ uh, I do hope the old Lehman Russ doesn't disappear though um, this has got um, you know, things like hatches for the top of the tank, which is kind of cool. Um, it's all just very s slightly different to the existing one, but it's a much better sprue. No wasted space or anything. Um, but one thing I did notice, um, which you'll see when we get to the, the side sprue, this sprue here, um, there is no space for sponson weapons. The, the Heresy era do not have sponsons, so there is no way to mount current sponson boxes onto this tank however i fully expect someone to provide through the community very quickly uh some sort of sponson 3d print or cast kit that will fit this tank uh, so if you're a krieg collector fear not you will be able to get your i think there was a Luth, Luth, lucifer pattern um land thingies, tanky, voodoo, whatever you call them. Um, so here we have the weird shaped um, Dracosan. So as I'm showing, sprues kind of come in set sizes from GW. But this Dracosan one's really big. It's a really weird wide shaped uh, sprue. And much like the Spartan, it's a dual kit with another tank. So this sprue is the common sprue. I can't really say much about it. It's got, you know, lots of parts lots of bits um and it will go together however you use the instructions i wouldn't ever try and build one of these without the instructions especially when you see that random triangular bit that i can't even figure out where that goes so now i will most definitely be referring to the instructions on this one the thing is going to be massive um but still it's a good kit. Again, again, I can't stress this enough. It, GWs make good tanks. They make good kits. They waste no space in their sprues. Um, the only complaint I've got is with how the company is run, basically. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. So here's the actual Dracosan side. This is you would get if you're building the Dracosan, not the Malkador. Um... This is just a wall of plastic. I can't... My brain doesn't wrap around this. Um, I can't even begin to think how you'd put this together. 
Um, so I'm sure it will look fantastic when it's actually done. Um, I know a lot of people don't like them. I think that it's an interesting tank, but um, it needs some tweaking. It really does need some tweaking. Here's one of my biggest gripes with this kit, which is the decal sheets that come with it. You get two of each, one for the infantry, and you can see here, it's just a little flat. Um, it's just black and white, quite small. I get that the models are very small anyway, but it would have been nicer to get something with a bit more variety and a bit more interest to it. As for the vehicle one, again, it's very similar. There's not even a proper Imperial Aquila on here. Um, so, yeah, a little disappointing. It'd also be nice if we just got a sheet of paper which explained what these decals were. They might be in the instruction book. I haven't looked all the way through it. Um, but, yeah, looking at their decals compared to the Legion decals, even the full-size sheet is a little disappointing. You know, only having them in black and white, no colour. It's just a bit sad, really. Um... So I don't know what's been going on right now. I don't know what I'm going to be showing off next. Um, so instead I'm going to tell you about today's video sponsor. No, it's not. I would never be sponsored by those people. Um, you know, if I wanted to get sponsored by Chinese spyware, I'd open a TikTok account. Um, I, I, <laughs> I can't even turn the adverts off, guys. Seriously, I, if I, even if I turn the monetization off on this channel the adverts still play i've demonetized a couple of my videos and yeah they still come up like so many adverts now this what is youtube playing at it's ridiculous uh i'm just filling up to I, honestly i don't remember what i'm talking about I'm, I'm obviously monologuing something here but i have the brain of a goldfish um my my plans for this army is a 500 point uh allied force for my blood angels like I said, it's going to be two squads of infantry, one leader, a legate marshal, um, the Asian heavy sentinel with Volkite and missiles, and an Arvus lighter. The Arvus lighter is ridiculous. It's like eighty-five pounds for a thirty-point model. Come on, Games Workshop. It's a twenty-quid model. It should be a twenty-pound or twenty-five pound at the most plastic kit. Just pull your finger out, seriously. Come on, like. Someone in Games Workshop needs to make a choice. Uh, that Do they want to sell model kits or are they selling gaming kits? Because if it's just model kits, fine. Okay, you know, a Trumpeter T80 is like a you know, 200 quid model kit or something. You know, I want to buy a 1 in 48 scale Panther and it's going to set me back as much as I pay in rent a month. Okay, fine. But if I'm buying gaming kits, I don't want to have to spend £80 for a model that I could possibly have four of in an allied detachment. It's ridiculous. Pull your finger out. It's a 20 quid model. 25. 30 if you're pushing it way further than it should go. It shouldn't be any more expensive than a rhino at the best. It's a flying rhino without any weapons. Don't get me started on Proteus Land Speeders. That thing's a fucking couch with an engine slapped to it. That should be 15 quid in a box of five of them. Oh, I'm talking about fantasy. That's what's going on. Yeah, so I haven't had any chance to really progress any of my fantasy stuff. I very much want to start building these fantasy kits again. I've got Dark Angels coming out of the wazoo. And I really want to start building this dragon. I love dragons. Dragons are really cool. Um, so that's probably what I'm going to do tomorrow. Is try and get on with that as a video. Um, after I figure out how to just zoom this camera out, because it's far too close. Um, yeah, so this whole camera setup is ridiculous. I'm recording on my main computer, and then I'm remote desktop controlling it from a different computer. <sighs> Why am I making my life so difficult? All because you people don't like looking at my messy desk. The things I do for you. See, this is what this is. This is what your two pounds per video gets you, Curtis. Yeah, this is this is the high quality production values I have. But no, being silly or being serious about it, the support you guys give me is absolutely wild, and I don't deserve it. Um, I'm blown away constantly by how much you guys support me, and um, yeah, 
I really wish I could do a better job for you. Um, uh, well, yeah, I think I'm saying, what do I do with my hands? Um, so, yeah, well, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm probably just rambling at this point, and I do. I ramble a lot, and I apologize for that. So, um, yeah, I, we've got Adepticon coming up. There's been some leaks from Adepticon. Um, if you, if it might have even been, I don't know. I, like, like I said, the last couple of hours and stuff have been just a whirlwind because with my dad. Um, I'm sure when it gets around to being shown off to me, I will make a video talking about the Adepticon stuff. Tomorrow is obviously Thursday, so we've got Heresy Thursday, so I'll cover that. Um, I've got 30 seconds left on this video to fill. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, just thank you very much to Matt Damon. I'm sorry we ran out of time for you to come on. Uh, if you get that reference, you're probably old enough to do the prostate exam yourself. Um, thank you very much. Um, I really appreciate all of you guys. Don't forget, you can always shop over at Element Games. I'm not sponsored by them or anything else. Please use my uh, reward code in the comments below. My name is Bando. This is Brexit Bando. I love you all. Two, one, bye-bye.